Hi everybody, this is Home Today Man back with another video. Today we talk to you guys about the movie Crucifixion. Got in, I have it in 4K HDR guys. Um show you real quick. It's another good movie. It's another movie that looks absolutely phenomenal on 4K. They did a really good job at remastering this in 4K along with all from Crucifixion. Um these are on sale from Best Buy at like for like thirteen dollars, thirteen nine nine. So I get it now while I can. Uh, Christmas special. Um. Anyways, um, just want to show you guys a demo of my movie. Um, of, of this movie. I mean, I mean, um, here's the thing, guys. Um, I I have a friend. I'm gonna give him a shout out here. Shout out here. His name is Pen. I caught him into getting a Samsung S90 CTV OLED, and he went from an LG C2 to an um to a S90 CTV, and he, he said and he, what he told me is like in comparison to Dolby Vision and HR10, he went from Dolby Vision to HR10. He said the colors look washed out on the Dolby Vision. In comparison to a show ten, like on the S nine C, the color is just everything pops with the colors, everything like everything pops with the S ninety C. I got the Q N ninety C TV and I'm, and I and, then, and it really pops. The colors, everything pops, and I love it. So he's got the S ninety C and I got the Q N ninety C. The S ninety C is the old is the Samsung Q D OLED version, and the I, and the Q N ninety C I have is. The Neo Mini Neo Mini LED TV. Um, I mean, let's say guys, the reason why I like the reason why I didn't go with S nine C TV is because one reason because um I like I like to have a bright picture. I like to have a bright picture. But man, I tell you what, this this TV is just too bright for this room. I mean, I think if I recall, Pen told me he looked it up. He said this Q9 C TV, it, it can do about, I think he said it can do about 3,000 nits, like 2,000 3, nits at the max. Auto, that's auto across the board. Gaming, movies, everything, auto, TV shows, all across the board if you let it. So, like, I turn my brightness down, like, I mean, right now, right now guys, I'm going to show you, I'm in static mode right now, because it's static, I'm just in static mode. I try to, people say you should have it on 50 in static mode. But still, it's just too damn bright, guys. Um, I'm not used to this brightness. Like right now, I got my. Oh, right now I'm on 45. I actually want to turn that down. To, I want to probably for my. Let me turn that down to 25. I was like on 25, guys. Um, that's good enough for me. Brightness. Uh, I put watching the sport or something. And I had it on. But this is my settings, guys. Nothing I want to talk, to you guys. I want the Q9C TV for sharpness. You want to leave sharpness at zero, guys, because when you leave term sharpness, it what it does is it somehow it makes the grain look t it makes the grain more um thicker. Like it looks good on on the background of people when watching the background, like not the people's faces when watching the background of a movie. When you turn sharpness up to a sharpness up. Background looks sharp. But the people's faces it looks like really grainy. Their faces look really grainy, and, it's a, and it just doesn't look natural, and um, it looks terrible. So I, I keep my sharpness at zero. And it honestly, when sharpness was not when I had sharpness up, tried to sharpness up, it <coughs> it was not <coughs> as clear, it's not even as clear as when you keep it on the zero. Color keep on twenty five. A motion clarity setting, that's some that's a soap opera effect. You always want to keep this off, guys. You want to keep this off for the best picture. Conscious enhanced, so I keep it high. Look them I keep it keep it high. You got it show tone mapping. I have that I have that I have that set to static. The reason why it's grayed out is because one thing, I'm a pair of we are playing set to a certain setting. So it grazes it out and it turns it switches it to static and it grazes out so you can't mess with it while you're watching the movie in the past on player. It's just normal for that I guess. The only way you can fix this is if you um turn off uh color space four 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 in the past on player setting. 
Um, that's why you can cut us off. I guess on the new t on the cute I see at least. I'm about to, that's not HD TV. I have to have. <coughs> but I mean, this picture is really good, guys. I mean, and I'm also show you guys this. I don't have my. I mean, I, the the windows are fully open. The curtains are fully open, guys. The curtains are fully open. I mean, I'm getting a much light. I mean, I'm getting light in here. I mean, I mean, I'm getting light in here, guys. I mean, let me show you this, guys. Got this cut fully open. Sun's coming straight through this window here. Shining straight through. And I don't have too much glare on this TV. Surprisingly, I don't have too much glare on my TV. Could be a, it's got some glare, but just sort of with the window shining. That's the disadvantage about the Key 90 c TV. I don't like as it shows glare. Most of the time, you want to keep this window closed. Um. So just if you guys if you guys get a chance pick up the Q nine C T V from Robert Zahn over Value Electronics in Scottsdale, New York. He's really great, really easy to get along with, well laid back. He's a dealer. I, I highly recommend. So I highly recommend him if you buy the T V. It's, it's it's free it's free shipping. No tax. So I mean I just recommend going through him if you want to save money. I bought this brand new um, for about twenty three hundred. This TV brand new for about twenty three hundred dollars, which is two thousand three hundred dollars. Um, but I'm saying um, when I got this TV um, I got a I got um I've, I've I have a, a perfect panel guys. I got a perfect panel. Okay, I got a perfect panel. Um, well, why I say that is because I got no blooming on this TV, and I have absolutely no DSC or anything on this TV. I got a Clean, perfect panel. I love it. Um, this TV looks fantastic. Let me show you what the window looks like with the windows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna the, the blind didn't fall off. But, um, it's, it's a beautiful TV. Right? The thing I like about this TV is when the windows are open, like, you, it doesn't look washed out or anything, even with the windows open. But if you have, like, on, I guess, a C2 or a C3 household, some of you guys, all the TV, I had all the TV. They said when you, because it still looks somewhat washed out colors. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I'm fine. It's short 10. It's. <coughs> so, guys, I've been sick for a while. It's short 10. Is, I mean, it's just a brighter picture than Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision picture is much darker. And it's short 10 plus is much brighter than Dolby Vision as well. So it's, <coughs> I like I here's the thing, I prefer HDR over Adobe Vision. That's just what I prefer. I like about the picture. I like it's like it. It looks beautiful, I think. But I just want to show you guys this video. Um hope you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Let me comment down below what your thoughts are. Let me know you guys thoughts on this. Let me know if you guys are getting upgrading to the S ninety C T V or the Q ninety C T V. I like to know you guys thoughts for those of you who are getting wanna get it. Any questions about either TV, please do comment down below for, for me to answer your questions in the YouTube video. I'm um, again, Home Theater Man. Over and out. Have a good day, guys. Take care.